welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here today we're doing another spooky video this one is about a haunted doll it's the doll that inspired the movie child's play so yes this is the real chucky you guys and i'm super excited about that i love this story i've known about it for a while so i'm gonna start gabbing and get right down to the video <laughs> so this is robert the doll Robert the doll is over 100 years old and resides in Key West, Florida. His original owner's name was Robert Eugene Otto. He went by the name Gene for Eugene, his middle name, but he named Robert after himself. He was a gift from one of their servants who was mistreated and uh, was witnessed practicing voodoo or possibly a family member. There's different accounts of where the doll actually came from. But for the case of the story, most people say it came from the witchy servant. From the beginning, Jane had an unhealthy attachment to Robert. He took Robert with him everywhere. He even had his own chair at the dinner table where he sat next to Jane and Jane would slip him bites of food when the parents weren't looking. Robert also got blamed for a lot of mischief that happened in the house. There was silverware scattered all through the house at one point and a room was completely destroyed with tables flipped over and things like that and when Gene was asked about it he replied Robert did it which became sort of his thing for anything bad that happened in the house when his parents would ask what happened he would say Robert did it it wasn't me Robert did it um, at one point, Jean sort of became frightened of Robert. They walked into the room and would find Jean over in a corner cowering when Robert glaring in his direction. At this point, the parents realized how unhealthy the relationship with the doll was and took Robert from Jean and put him in the attic for many years. Jean grew into a young man. He became an artist. He left home. But when his parents passed away, he had already married to a woman named Anne, and he decided to move back to his childhood home and brought Anne with him. Of course, he went up to the attic without his parents being there to stop him and pulled Robert back out. He immediately resumed his unhealthy attachment to the doll, which his wife was very displeased with, obviously. Robert was given his own room in the house, the turret room, which was Jean's old room from childhood. The neighbors and their children would often say that they could see Robert moving around in the house from one window to the next. <coughs> Excuse me. Anne became very displeased with the way that Robert was treated. She felt jealous and resentful. The marriage turned sour and she demanded that Jane put Robert back in the attic. And shortly after she died, the only reason that was given was that she died of insanity, whatever that is supposed to mean at that time. And shortly after Anne died, Jane followed. So after Jane passed, the house was empty for a while, except for Robert. And again, the neighbors reported seeing Robert in different windows in the home. So he had free run of the place. A few years later, the house got new tenants. Whenever they would be in the attic, the door would lock, slam closed on them. They always blamed it on Robert. He moved around the house. They found him in different places, different positions, even though he was always kept in the attic. He was often found in the turret room, which was considered his room. And the tenants were very frightened of Robert. They couldn't get rid of him. So they just kept putting him back in the attic. One night they woke up and Robert was on the end of their bed. They swore that they heard giggling and he had a knife in his hand. Becoming too frightened to stay in the house, they fled the home and the house was once again empty for Robert to have the run of. At some point, Robert was taken to a museum in Key West, Florida, where he remains now. He was put into a glass case for preservation, and one night an employee had cleaned Robert. He'd shut him in his case, shut the lights off, and when he came come back the next morning, the lights were on. The case was closed, but Robert was in a different position than he was left in, but there was a fresh dust um, layer of dust on Robert's feet, indicating that he had been out of the case and running around the museum at some point during the night. At this point, Robert still remains in the museum, 
you're not allowed to take a picture of Robert unless you have his so-called permission. They say that if you ask Robert's permission to take a picture and he gives it to you, his head will move almost imperceptibly. If his head doesn't move at all, you're not allowed to take his picture. And if you do, he will place a curse on you. Behind him in his glass box is letters of apology from people that have taken his picture without permission and had caught whatever curse they believe to be on the doll. They are begging him to release the curse as family members have fallen ill or even died as a result of them supposedly taking Robert's picture without permission. <laughs> Sorry, that's Robbie. But that's all for now, you guys. If you like this sort of thing, which I do, I'm really interested in the paranormal, obviously. Subscribe, comment below, hit the notification bell so that you get notified when I post and you stay up with the latest. Until next time, stay awesome, guys. Bye. Thank you.